A new study out of Indiana University finds that the formula to making money in the stock market may be hidden on Twitter. Researchers there found that analyzing the mood of Twitter posts can actually predict the direction of the market three to four days in advance with 87% accuracy. Here with me to discuss this intersection between social media and money is CBS News Business and Economics correspondent Rebecca Jarvis. Hey Rebecca, great to see you. Great to see you too, Jenna. So Rebecca, I'm going to try to keep my questions to 140 characters, but first can you just tell me how, what is this? Well, basically what this is, is this is a way that Wall Street is aggregating data. It's sort of a consumer confidence, consumer sentiment 2.0, if you will, but it's happening real time. What Wall Street is doing is looking at Twitter and looking at all the buzz and all the chatter that exists out there and cultivating that data, aggregating the data and saying, what's our big takeaway? Are people feeling happy? Are they fearful? Are they sad? Are they concerned? And this research that you just pointed to to in your introduction shows that at least under certain circumstances that data set can actually be very valuable in determining where the direction of stocks are heading. Okay, and now I'm hearing that there's actual hedge funds that are planning to put this strategy to work. There are hedge funds that are thinking about doing this. For example, Derwent Capital, which is based in London. They're going to look at about 10% of all the available tweets that there are out there, and they're going to break them into 12 different subsets, like happy, sad, those types of things. They're going to look at those as sentiment indicators. And based off of those sentiment indicators, they will have a computer program that automatically executes trades based on the overall sentiment of Twitter. And I should make it clear here, these are computer programs really that are deriving this information. They're taking it off of Twitter and they're making decisions based off of what Twitter is telling them, based off of that aggregate of feedback. So in addition to looking at the market overall, is there any way to hone in and look at individual stocks? That is where things get a little more murky. There have also been studies that have been conducted, because obviously this is a new field, but it's also a very hot field. There have been studies that have looked at companies like Starbucks, Nike, Coca-Cola, for example. These are very popular companies, and they have more followers, for example, on Facebook or on Twitter, because they just so happen to be very large. So the studies have looked at whether or not companies with bigger followings happen to be better motivated stocks that are stocks that go higher. And the study has actually found that yes, that's the case, but there's a lot of analysts that poke holes in that research right now and say it really needs to be a larger, more broad-based study. But still, if you go back to the original idea in all of this, and that is that Twitter is taking sentiment and it's looking at the buzz around the market, but also the buzz around specific stocks, there's certainly, uh, there's certainly some relevance to the data set right now. And there's people like Derwent Capital and others out there that are trying trying to make money off of it and also trying to create computer programs that are going to look at it in an effective way. So Rebecca, is there anything the average Joe can take away from this? Well, there are already websites that are trying to capitalize on this whole theory of the wisdom of the crowd, from websites like StockTwits to TweetTrader.net, which is another website that's in beta mode right now. What they're basically doing is they're taking and cultivating the data sets themselves, and then they're putting it out there for the public. Um, at this point, we've really only just scratched the surface as far as research is. And of course, as social media grows in its popularity, there'll be an even larger field to draw information from. One of the pieces of research that I find most fascinating comes out of the Technical University of Munich. And they looked at 250,000 tweets per day for six months. And they looked at that during the first six months of 2010 and found that if they were to base trading decisions off of those tweets, off of the, you know, the happy, the sad, the fear, whatever. If they were to base their trading decisions off of those tweets, they would have returned 15% in the first six months of 2010. So it seems like we've only just scratched the surface here. And for the average Joe, it seems like there is a lot potentially to be uncovered going forward. Okay, so stay tuned. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Rebecca. And thank you so much for watching.